Okay. And I want to talk to you about speed dating with lobbyists. This is a story out of uh, out of Utah, and I, I don't know how people in Utah will feel about this. Governor doesn't seem to have a problem with it. I, he's running for re-election and he needs money. Listen to this story. We're going to start there right now. Um, okay, the um, the story is about Gary Her- Herbert. Uh, Utah governor. Now, Gary is, he's a nice guy. I don't, I don't know him all that well. I've talked to him a couple of times and he seems to be an okay governor in, in Utah. I don't, you, you know more than I do, Pat, you're making a face. I mean, he's okay. Okay. He's He's a mixed bag. He endorsed Cruz, correct? Uh, Not really. Uh, Kind of like the day before. Yeah. He's more of a, he's more of, I think of a more of a Mitt Romney kind of guy. He's, you know, yeah. He's he's lukewarm. He's good on stuff, some stuff. He's not good on some stuff, but he's not a bad guy. But listen to this. In a, f- a recent fundraising strategy session with his campaign team, team and allied lobbyists, which was recorded, government, uh, uh, Governor Herbert discussed meeting with rounds of lobbyists in a one-on-one kind of speed dating to discuss policy issues. However we, quoting, however we want to do this, If we have to have multiple meetings or we can sit down and talk and you can give us a check later or before, however you'd like to do it, he said in this recording. Um, uh, Let me just say this. I am available. I am available. I am available, Jones. So he does this speed dating. Uh, another quote from the tape, we gave Foxley two hours. We created seven clients in front of Foxley. Uh, we went into his office 20 minutes collecting checks and talking specifically about their issues. We're not going to do that for $1,000, but that's something. We'll schedule it. and You can come and have 15 or 20 minutes with the governor. Um, here's the disturbing quote. Herbert added, even though I disagree with you on some of your issues... Quote, we will give you the results that you want, end quote. Wow. That's a politician. That's a problem. Yeah. That's a problem. What's his answer to this? Does he have one yet? Um, No, not that I have seen. Um, Herbert went on to stress the importance of raising significant funds for the upcoming primary election. He acknowledged on tape that he was uh, turning over the running of the state government to his chief of staff and lieutenant governor during the campaign. Just so you know, this will be unprecedented for me because I will go on the high giddy-up campaign trail for the next two weeks. The state's going to be run by Justin Harding and the lieutenant governor. So I will go anywhere. I will meet with people. I will come to your office. You bring them in and we'll give them quality time. But we've got to raise money. No ifs, ands, or buts. We've got to raise this money somehow. A little gimmick. Uh, Saying here, uh, he he says he's disappointed in himself and his campaign for offering to meet with lobbyists in exchange for campaign donations as he face a as he faces a tough reelection battle. Uh, he's disappointed he got caught. Yeah, you don't I mean, say that's you're disappointed. Unbelievable. In your, you don't say you're disappointed what? in yourself. That's bad. You're disappointed. In Jonathan yourself. Johnson is his running mate, or not his running mate, no, the, the contender. Yeah. You know anything about him? I, I no, I'm just uh, barely finding out anything about yeah him. i i mean i i don't know anything about him but i heard he's a real he sounds like the real deal yeah though. he's kind of cut from our cloth i yeah. i hear i don't know i don't follow it's it. amazing that herbert is so desperate i was just looking at the the polls look like they're, they're pretty favorable for him it's it's tough to primary a, a sitting governor especially in a state where the, the a, sitting governor yeah. is the you know it's a deep red state he's a republican yes um, he says he should have been more sensitive to the way the offer came across, but he says it wasn't illegal or unethical. Uh, it's pretty stupid. Uh, it's not illegal or, or unethical. unethical? I don't he know says about it, that. Then why would you be disappointed? I don't know. Giving he he was, favors to people, even if you disagree with them, in exchange for money? I, I'd call that unethical. How is, yeah, how was he, that said, not- he said he and his staff made it clear there would be no pr- quid pro quo and likened the meetings no, to a didn't. fundraiser where donors bring checks. His Can you read the quote are, again? The, the quote is, with them even though I disagree with the lobbyists on their issues, quote, we'll give you the results that you want. 
I mean, the only, the only thing that makes me, you know, again, you got to be careful with these things. I don't know why there's not more of a quote there. Like, why are they yes. telling me yes. the first part of it yeah. and not quoting yes. it? Yes, yes. I would like to know what the quote was. He uh, did say. Half a sentence does he, make me nervous. He did say on the tape, in spite of the appearance of speed dating meetings with lobbyists, quote, there will be no quid pro quo. However, we will give you the results that you want. So I don't know. We, you're right. We should listen to the entire tape yeah. because maybe that's taken out of context. Wow. It makes me nervous when they do the half sentence quote thing. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it's necessary because, you know, there's context issues where, like, you might have a sentence, then there's five unrelated sentences, and then, say, like, there's reasons why you, have you him do on. that. But you yeah. should ask him to come on. Yeah, sure. Ask him to come on. Yeah. He said his his polling is de- halfway decent, isn't it? Yeah, that's that, what I was saying. I, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, uh, yeah, I, yeah, it looks like he's good. He's going to be, you know, Jonathan Johnson pretty easily. I think people are starting to give up. I think people are giving up on um, pouring big money into into campaigns. I mean, I've heard that a lot from people who are who are usually donors, and they're like, I, I'm I'm out. I, I'm not going to do this anymore. You know, it doesn't it doesn't get anywhere. We don't think that you know does any good you give it to them and then they turn out to be weasels well how about the people who donated you know i mean no one person donated all of this but the uh, you know jeb bush raised 125 million dollars how do those people feel about that terrible waste he went nowhere with it he did nothing with it so i yeah i'd be imagine giving a hundred straight imagine giving a million dollars a million i don't care how rich you are a million dollars is still a million dollars five hundred thousand a hundred thousand ten thousand yeah you know the average person yeah that would be like you giving a thousand dollars to a candidate for nothing i mean he didn't he didn't even go anywhere in the primary Right. And then he didn't spend it all. You'd be like, could I get some of my money back? Could I? What are you yeah. using that for now? Right. I mean, it's really bad. That's why I'm saying if you give me money, Glenn, you're going to get results. You're going to get results. So you just hang well, out. I've seen the results that you, <laughs> you pay off in every day. Um, I, you know, because the vice presidential thing is coming up soon, I, I pulled all the uh, approval ratings of all the governors just yeah. to see who would be favored. But uh, what, uh, Herbert in Utah, 61 26, favorable to unfavorable. Approved to disapprove. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean it's, it's numbers this, like him. Let's see how this pulls out, though. Right. I mean, this is obviously a big thing, but I mean, it seems like he's pretty well liked there. He's a very nice guy. I mean, I don't he's follow the politics of each state. Times. Yeah, I don't follow the politics, so I don't. I, you know, you can't take anything from me on what I say about, you know, the. I don't follow that, and uh, and but I've met him several times. He seems like a really nice guy, really nice guy. So this is this was really surprising uh, to me, and now this.